If you're just getting started with Office 2013, you may have noticed that your name appears up in the top right hand corner. This is a new concept brought out by Office 2013 that you can sign into Office and get the concept of Office Anywhere. What this means is that you'll get some of your more common and useful settings roamed with you wherever you sign into Office. It's a simple way to manage and save to your cloud storage and roam some of those simple settings so that you can have a continued level of productivity and familiarity. So by signing into Office 2013, some of the settings at Rome are your most recently used list of documents and places and templates, some Office personalization, your custom dictionary, it can be quite useful if you've added some custom names and you don't want them to appear as spelling mistakes when you do your spelling check. But what I find most useful is the list of connected services. Um, you can connect, connect to a multiple number of cloud services and access the storage directly from the Office applications. So where do you sign into Office 2013? Well I'm just showing you here now that there's one place that you can sign in. But one other place which you have more control over what you're doing and, and other additional settings is within File and in the Backstage, that's what they call the Backstage here, we click into the Account area. So I'm signed in with um, Daryl at Webster.net.nz and what it has pulled through because I have a SharePoint Online account is my connection to the uh, SharePoint Online sites and document libraries associated with that account. We can find them in the Open and Save As dialog boxes. So I can quickly access either my SkyDrive Pro storage or I can access directly into the team site and that will bring up a dialog box to be able to browse through the different libraries and sites that are within that SharePoint online site. Now what I'm going to do is connect another service and part of the um, advantage of doing this is that I can add additional areas for storage and can easily access them from within any of the office applications without having to go to a web browser. So I'm adding this a SkyDrive service and I'm going to sign in with my personal SkyDrive account. This is a consumer SkyDrive just so happens that this account has been created and associated with the same email address. So that will go and authenticate with that service and I'll soon have SkyDrive <coughs> as a location for me to be able to save and access documents. So now you can see it there and within the open and save as dialog boxes I can now browse into my personal SkyDrive and view various documents in there. Just waiting for that to load. And you can see my documents, pictures and my public folder. So that's adding my SkyDrive account as storage that I can access. Now the other thing that I can do is I can add my Microsoft account so that any other services that have been linked to my Microsoft account like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube will also come in and become accessible from any other Office application. So I go into other sites and I link my Microsoft account. Now it's the same account as I added for SkyDrive because SkyDrive is part of the Microsoft account but I'm adding more this time, I'm adding those connected services. And by doing that, you'll soon see those connected services are added in. Now the way that you would use these connected services differs from application to application. Uh, let's say for instance I want to add um, some photos that I've got within Facebook. Then I can access Facebook as my um, photo storage and insert those photos to my Word document. If I was in Outlook then my LinkedIn account, which is now associated with Outlook, 
will allow me to see my LinkedIn contacts, their contact photos, and I'll get updates of uh, the status that they that they are running or any activity that they've uh, recently completed. YouTube, I could uh, within PowerPoint use this connection to be able to search for videos that are within my collections or perhaps favourites that I've that I've had, and embed them into uh, my PowerPoint video. So these accounts, or rather these services, are managed via the Microsoft account. So we'll just flick over to where we can see those. I'm now in my Microsoft account, and I've logged into that, and the area you want to go to is permissions. Because you're giving permission for these other cloud services to be linked to your Microsoft account. So I'm managing my linked accounts. Or rather, I'm managing apps and services. Third time lucky. <laughs> Manage accounts. Okay, manage accounts. So I've linked in linked Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I can use those services because they've been pulled in via the connected accounts. YouTube, of course, is part of the Google set. So that's where that comes in. So back to that word. I can now go back to my document, and I've got two places that I can save my documents to, and those places that I begin to use, if they're regular, then I can pin them. The other additional advantage is that the username and password has been saved, so I can just flick between additional locations and save those documents into those different places without having to log in and out of different websites or manage different sessions of Office 365, SharePoint Online storage locations. I can do that all from within the application. So I can also add additional SharePoint locations. I do contribute to a number of other different sites that have Office 365 SharePoint locations and I'm now clicking into adding additional storage which was just off the screen that I was recording but I've chosen the storage option and then SharePoint Office 365 and now I'm going to connect to another SharePoint site And that will add an additional SharePoint location shortly. And just like the initial one, which is associated with the account that I'm logged into, I now have a second SharePoint site, which allows me to save documents to those different locations. And I'm just opening that up, and now you can see all the libraries and sites that are available within that site collection and within that site organization. So let's insert a photo from one of these cloud storages. So we're going into insert and we're inserting in an online picture. And now I'm presented with some options that relate to the different services that I've added. So now I can go into my SkyDrive area and I can choose some of the photos that I've uploaded into there there you go, inserted directly from SkyDrive now a third thing that you can connect to within the accounts area of the Office applications is creating a connection to the Office Store so I'll just get these out of the way, so you can better see it on screen. Just removing the accounts and the association. Remove that. Remove one more. So 
So now we have the office store down there that we can add a connection to. And that uses your Microsoft account also. Now if we go back over to our browser, and I've just opened up the office store, the connection is created to the apps for Office and SharePoint. So if we just look at apps for Word, and if we've purchased any or we've found a, a good free one that we'd like to use from within Office, we've added that to our account, our Microsoft account. Then when we link that Office account, Office Store apps account to Office, the application will be downloaded into our Office application for us to use. And because it's linked to this account, linked to Daryl at webster.net.nz, wherever I sign in with that account into Office 2013, the application will follow me from the App Store. So I can continue to use that as, again, another level of familiarity and productivity. The application store is currently only available in the US, and because my account is in New Zealand, I have been unable to purchase an app to to demonstrate that to you but uh, please take my word for it and look out for that availability in other areas of the world where you are. So there's three things that you can do um, with connected services. Some other things that I can quickly show you too, you can um, check your current version of Office and look at the updates. You can apply updates. We can go through that now. Or And this is looking to the internet using click to run for the office updates. And it's letting me know that there's an update that's now available and whether I want to apply it now. Uh, I won't do that for this video, but you can step through that yourself and see how quickly and efficiently it updates itself using click to run. Just updates the necessary bits that are available. I can switch accounts, so I'm logged in as Daryl at webster.net.nz, but I'm I'm at work at the moment, so I can switch to my work account. And now I've got my set of connected services and applications and um, other settings that roam associated with that account. If I had a an Office app, then that would be available to me now too, if it was purchased via my, my um, corporate account that I've just switched to. So that's another way that you could, if you have multiple accounts for Office 365, um, whether it be personal, your corporate, maybe you've got one that you're using for uh, as a um, contractor um, for another organisation, then you can switch between them all here and quickly get the access to the storage that you um, need to complete your tasks. So that's a quick look at the account section of Office 2013. I hope that you've seen the, the benefits of connecting your accounts in there and um, particularly in terms of making it easy to get to the areas that you need to save your, your documents to with cloud storage and being able to roam some of those settings. So thanks for watching.